Um, we are going to do um, our news to you article for the week. Um, this week's topic is a very important topic, I think, for us, um, especially with everything going on. This week we are going to be reading about thanking hospital workers because they continue to go to work every day to help people who have been um, sick with the coronavirus and they're putting their lives at risk to make sure that other people are staying healthy and safe. <coughs> Excuse me. And so it's so important for us all to make sure we say thank you to them um, for, for working so hard during such a difficult and scary time. We are going to look at um, four vocabulary words for the week. Um, the first one is a hospital worker. So what is a hospital worker when we talk about that? Um, a hospital worker simply is um, people who work in a hospital. Um, when we read our article, we're going to read about the different types of jobs you might have if you work in a hospital, but you are considered a hospital worker if you work in the hospital, okay? Um, we're also going to talk about the word healthy, all right, right over here. Um, we've talked talk about health, um, health and being healthy all the time in school. We talk about making healthy choices in terms of food and exercise. Um, but right now when we're talking about being healthy, we're talking about being free from injury or disease. And right now we know that the coronavirus um, is affecting a lot of people. People are getting sick from it. And um, hospital workers are working very hard to keep people healthy, keeping people free from the virus. And if they do get it, trying to help them um, feel better. So it's really important right now that we try to stay healthy by staying home and social distancing, but it's also hospital workers' jobs to help keep us healthy as well right now. Um, we're going to look at the next word, which is a place. And that is hospital. We're going to be reading about hospitals and um, people who work in the hospital. But a hospital is a place where people go to be healed when they are sick or hurt. Okay. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have been to the hospital before when you've maybe broken a bone or maybe you got really sick and you had to go to the hospital. You might have had to go um, to visit people who are in the hospital. And sometimes we go to the hospital for, for happy occasions, like someone has a baby. That's an, a happy occasion. But most of the time, when someone needs help medically, you might go to the hospital, okay? It could be something um, really big and really important, like you're very, very sick, or it could be something minor. Um, but the hospital typically is where people who are sick or maybe injured or who need help, that's where they go. And the last word, which I know you guys hear and know what it is, um, is the word thank. Um, I know at school, um, a lot of times when people help you at school, we try to work on saying thank you. But um, when you thank someone, you're expressing your gratitude to them. Um, you're showing them that you appreciate what they're doing for you. And this is um, something we're going to be talking about that right now, again, hospital workers are working so hard to keep us all safe and we're able to stay home because they're working. So it's so important for us to thank them because they can't stay home with their families right now. They have to go to work. So we are going to read our article um, and you will hear these four words in our story. So again, um, our news to you topic for this week, which I cannot believe we're already in the week of May 4th. That's crazy to me. But we are going to read about thanking hospital workers. And let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit more on this. Perfect. All right. Hospital workers are very busy now. Many people are sick with the coronavirus. Hospital workers are helping sick people become healthy. All right. Hospital workers work in hospitals. People who are very sick 
may go to a hospital, all right? So again, if you get really sick, sometimes with like the flu, the coronavirus, um, any sort of illness that's really, really um, bad, um, something that comes on suddenly, you might end up going to the hospital. People who are hurt may go to the hospital too. So if you were to get hurt at home or get hurt at school and maybe something were to break or fracture, um, you might have to go to the hospital for the doctors and nurses to help fix, fix you. People who are sick or hurt need help. We know that. Um, at school, if you guys were to get sick or to get hurt, um, usually we go first to the nurse which is why it's so important for you guys to tell us if something doesn't feel right. And that's why we practice that at school, um, expressing our emotions and feelings, um, telling us if something doesn't feel good, and then identifying where in our body we don't feel good. So please keep practicing that at home. Um, at school, again, if you're not feeling well, um, we will go to the nurse. The nurse will check you out. And if you're really sick, they might call someone to pick you up from home. And if it's really bad and they talk to your parents, we might go to the hospital. Um, that might be sometimes scary for us, but um, EMTs are there to help us and they will drive us to the hospital. They are not scary. If the firefighters, the firemen come um, just to make sure that we're um, taken care of. They're not scary. They're there to help us. And going to the hospital, it might feel scary, but it's important to go when we're not feeling well. So again, people who are sick or hurt may need help and they may have to go to the hospital. Hospital workers can help these people. So if you go, go to the hospital because something's not right, you're sick or something's, uh, something's hurting, a hospital worker will be there to help you, okay? Hospitals have many kinds of hospital workers. There's so many people that work in a hospital and they all have different jobs. Okay, a hospital worker may be a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, an aide, or even a pharmacist. Hospital workers do many things. They have lots of jobs and lots of different responsibilities. A hospital worker may do surgery. So if you're really sick or something's broken or, or um, something needs to get fixed in your body, you may need to have surgery. Um, they might have just have to take your temperature. They might give you medicine and much more. There's so many other things that people who work in the hospital do. There's so many different jobs. I couldn't even list them all off um, for you guys. There's a lot of stuff that I don't even know that they do. Now, hospital workers are, aren't just doctors, nurses, therapists, aides, pharmacists. They also include other people um, such as janitors and cafeteria workers too, okay? Um, janitors help make hospitals clean, okay? A clean hospital can help people be healthy. Think about that. Um, even at school, we have people in our maintenance department, janitors, that help keep our school clean. The same is for the hospital. When people are sick, they're spreading their germs, and it's such an important job to have maintenance and janitors working in the hospitals because they will clean and disinfect and get rid of all those germs so we're not spreading them. So if we didn't have people like janitors in the hospitals, we would not be able to stay healthy because there would just be germs everywhere. So being a janitor at the hospital right now is so important. There's also people that work in the cafeterias at the hospitals. Cafeteria workers will cook food in the hospitals. Eating good food can help people be healthy. Um, cafeteria workers that cook food in hospitals, they are making food for patients. So if you're stuck in the hospital and you have to stay for a long period of time, they're the ones that are cooking your meals. You know, if you're sick, you do need to eat. And if there's no one there to cook for you, that would be a problem. 
but they also help cook meals for all of the other people that work in the hospital. So if a doctor or a nurse or an aide is really, really hungry, they have a cafeteria that they can go to and eat right away. And it's so important. We know at our school we have cafeteria workers and they're there to make sure that we get fed and we all know how we would be if we did not eat all day. That's right, hangry. We would be hungry and angry. And we wouldn't be healthy if we didn't eat all day. So again, cafeteria workers, whether it's in school or in the hospital, it's an important job because they're there to take care of us and help make sure we're being fed and healthy. All hospital workers are important. Every job that goes on there is important, all right? That's why they have to still go to work right now because they have an important job to do. People can thank hospital workers anytime, okay? You don't have to just do it this week or when there's an emergency. A good time to thank hospital workers is National Hospital Week. National Hospital Week is May 10th through the 16th in 2020, okay? Um, so starting, I don't know when May 10th is, I'm sorry, let me check my calendar really quick. May 10th is on Sunday. So all next week is um, National Hospital Week. This week celebrates hospital workers and our school is going to do a special project. I wrote about it in the Google Classroom, but we are asking for you guys to either make cards or write a letter or even take a picture with like a thank you note that you've written and send it and we're gonna take those pictures and make a video and submit it out to them online. So again, if, you, if you're if you gonna do a picture, you have to make sure that we can share it. Your parents have to be okay with that. But you can also um, send a card to someone, write them a letter, and I put um, an address for you guys to mail them to a local hospital that we go to a lot up here, which is Albany Med. So this is a week that we will celebrate hospital workers. And it's so important now because they are working so hard. Now people can do things to thank hospital workers. People can make cards. You can send emails and write letters. We're asking for you guys to make cards or write a letter. People can send food to hospitals and hospital workers can enjoy the food. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, some celebrities have sent lots of food to certain hospitals around the country. Um, they've sent meals to them, but we might be able to do something special like um, make cookies or make a cake and send it over to them. Um, it's hard to get into the hospital right now, but I'm sure if you guys were to reach out to your local hospital, they would be able to figure out a way for you guys to do that exchange. Okay, so people can thank hospital workers on social media too. They can say why hospital workers are important. People can share pictures and videos. And that's another thing that we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to say thank you on social media by getting pictures from um, whoever would like to participate with like a little thank you sign. And we are going to share it so hospitals um, around our area know how, how thankful we are for them. Uh, they can also share stories about hospital workers as well. People can use the hashtag MyHospital in their posts. Cities across the U.S. have hospitals. Many hospital workers are very busy now. They are helping people, uh, people they are helping people sick with the coronavirus. Many people are thanking hospital workers. How can you thank a hospital workers? How can you thank a hospital worker? So what do you guys think you're gonna do? Do you think you'll do a card or a letter or maybe send a picture for us to use? Um, again, if you guys wanna make, take a picture, you can have your parents email it to me and I will submit it for our video. Um, but there are lots of ways that you guys can say thanks. Um, and you don't have to just do it next week or this week. You can do it any time. Um, 
because our hospitals are always busy and people are always busy working in the hospitals. I live in between two big hospitals. I live in between Albany Med and St. Peter's Hospital near our school and it is always busy on my street. So we're going to read a little article a little bit more about hospital workers. Hospital workers work in hospitals. Hospital workers help people feel better. Hospital workers use many tools to help people. And you guys might have seen these tools before um, anytime you've gone to the hospital or a doctor's office. These tools include a stethoscope, which is what they wear on their necks to listen to your heartbeat or hear you, your breathing. Um, they might use a thermometer to take your temperature. They might um, have to give you a shot, which only hurts for a second. They might use bandages and much more. So people who work in hospitals, um, especially doctors and nurses and aides, they might have to use some of these um, tools and that's to help make us feel better and keep us healthy. Um, again, we read about a place, and the place we read about was a hospital. Hospitals are in cities around the world. Hospitals have rooms with hospital beds. Hospitals have waiting rooms and emergency rooms. Okay, um, If you have to stay overnight, you might stay in a room with a hospital bed. Um, sometimes if something really serious happens, like... You can't breathe, um, a bone has been broken, um, you're very, very, very sick, you might have to go to the emergency room. They also have places called waiting rooms where if someone's um, having surgery, pe people in your family might have to stay in the waiting room and hang out because they can't be in the room where, where you're having your surgery. Um, if someone's having a baby... Um, you might have to sit in the waiting room, and a waiting room normally has couches and chairs and maybe a TV for you guys um, to stay entertained while you're waiting. Um, hospitals may also have um, rooms that have the following equipment. They might have x-ray machines. They might have rooms where there's medicine. They might have rooms or um, they might have MRI machines if you need a scan. They might have wheelchairs because sometimes after you leave the hospital, you can't walk and you need to be in a wheelchair and much more. The hospitals have so much equipment in there that this article does not have enough room to list it all. Um, that's the end of the article, but of course there's so much more to our newsletter. There is a recipe for this week called um, Healthy Pepper Pizzas. I know most of you guys love pizza. But pizza is not always the healthiest food for us. This is a great recipe that you guys can try to use um, to substitute um, to make a healthy pizza substitute. Um, so instead of using crust, you would use a pepper, and you would fill your pepper with your cheese, your sauce, and whatever toppings you like. Um, this one has pepperoni slices, but again, you can substitute it for other vegetables or sausage or a meatball. Um, I will post the recipe for you guys. I myself might decide to try this because I actually bought a lot of peppers last week that I have to use. Um, if you guys try this, please let me know if you thought it was good or not. We are going to read our article one more time without my commentary. Um, and then we'll look at the review questions page. Again, I will post your individual worksheets using your initials in the Google Classroom, and you can fill it out on your own. But at the end of me reading the article again, I will have you guys, um, I'll just go over the questions with you guys. So our article for the week is thanking hospital workers. Hospital workers are very busy now. Many people are sick with the coronavirus. Hospital workers are helping sick people become healthy. Hospital workers work in hospitals. People who are very sick may go to hospitals. People who are hurt may go to hospitals too. People who are sick or hurt need help. 
hospital workers can help these people. Hospitals have many kinds of hospital workers. A hospital worker may be a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, an aide, or a pharmacist. Hospital workers do many things. A hospital worker may do surgery, take your temperature, give medicine, and more. Hospital workers include janitors and cafeteria workers too. Janitors make hospitals clean. A clean hospital can help people be healthy. Cafeteria workers cook food in hospitals. Eating good food can help people be healthy. All hospital workers are important. People can thank hospital workers anytime. A good time to thank hospital workers is National Hospital Week. National Hospital Week is May 10th through the 16th in 2020, so next week. This week celebrates hospital workers. People can do things to thank hospital workers. People can make cards, send emails, and write letters. People can send food to hospitals. Hospital workers can enjoy the food that you send. People can thank hospital workers on social media too. They can say why hospital workers are important. People can share pictures and videos. They can share stories about hospital workers. People can use hashtag myhospital in their posts. Cities across the US have hospitals. Many hospital workers are very busy now. They are helping people sick with the coronavirus. Many people are thanking hospital workers. How can you thank a hospital worker? So I want you guys to think about that. Think about something you want to do um, for next week, whether it's sharing a picture with me to put into our video or writing a letter and sending it using the address I put in our Google Classroom. And of course, if you know a hospital worker, I know some of you guys, you have parents that work in the medical field, feel free to write something to them. I bet they'd appreciate that. So again, our article about um, a group of people, hospital workers, hospital workers work in hospitals, hospital workers help people feel better, hospital workers use many tools to help people. These tools include stethoscopes, thermometers, shots, bandages, and more. And we're going to read a little bit more about hospitals. Hospitals are in cities around the world. Hospitals have rooms with hospital beds. Hospitals have waiting rooms and emergency rooms. They also have x-ray machines, medicine, MRI machines, wheelchairs, and more. If you guys go to the hospital, you will see a lot of different equipment, machines, people. There's so much at a hospital. So we're going to go look at our review page. I will just read the questions to you guys, but again, um, you're going to do these individually using your paper. All right, so question one, and I think I said one of these words 400 times in this article, in this video. I feel like I said this word so much. What is this paper about? Is it about A, thanking hospital workers, B, the Irwin family helping animals, or C, sharing happiness? 
And if you're doing your paper along with the video, feel free to pause it. Question two, who are helping sick people become healthy? So who did we read about? A, construction workers, B, lawyers, or C, hospital workers? Okay, question three. Where do hospital workers work? Do they work in A, restaurants, B, clothing stores, or C, hospitals? Question four, think about what we read about. And if you can't remember, eliminate the answers that you know we did not talk about. Question four, what is May 10th through the 16th? So there's like a special week coming up to celebrate something. What did we read about? Did we read about A, National Hospital Week, B, Shark Week, or C, National Library Week? All right, we have two more questions. Five, what may hospital workers give to sick people? Think about what you get when you're sick. Do you get A, tickets, B, medicine, or C, pets? And question six, these are the hardest ones for us. This is a not question. So you're circling the wrong answer in a way, okay? Let's go over this one. Who is not a hospital worker? So think about someone who does not work in the hospital, okay? Is it A, a principal, B, a nurse, or C, a cafeteria worker? So you're going to circle the answer for the person that does not work in a hospital, all right? Um, I'm going to just play a quick little video for you guys. Um, it's a news clip about how Americans have been saying thank you to hospital and healthcare workers I found on YouTube. From coast to coast, applause for today's heroes. Now, Americans are creating new ways to help our nation's healthcare workers and first responders. I would like people to know that there's hope and there's something that we can all do. In New Orleans, Devin DeWolf is mobilizing relief for the front lines by organizing food deliveries. Inspired by the fight in his wife, Annalise, an ER doctor. What is that moment like to, to just get a little bit of relief? To step into that break room and have the door close, everybody wash their hands and take some food is really healing. The effort feeding 12 area hospitals. I think it's just you know, way that everybody can get involved and do something and um, show some solidarity right now. An aid mission spreading across the country. In New York, Island Auto Group is lending cars to first responders so they don't have to take public transportation. It was very scary. You know, I get affected or, or my brothers and sisters I work with get affected. In Missouri, a Joplin pharmacy started making and delivering its own hand sanitizer. The idea was to help people that are serving other people in this situation. We want to help them stay safe, stay healthy. In Texas, a Dallas hotel is offering rooms to local first responders for free. Let's help out these first responders who are, you know, on the front line trying to save us and trying to get this epidemic, I guess we call it, over with. And at Elmhurst Hospital in New York, one of the hardest hit in the nation, a simple sign saying thank you, summing up the sentiments of Americans everywhere, grateful to those risking their own lives to save others. Steve Patterson, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, okay. thanks for checking so out our... This, that was just a short video on ways that um, people and businesses are saying thank you to our hospital, um, our health care workers. Um, some restaurants are donating food or giving discounts. You guys saw that um, one car, one car um, salesman was letting um, hospital workers use cars so they don't have to take public transportation because that's how germs can get spread right now. 
Um, people are making hand sanitizers. People are donating things to the hospitals. But um, our project, again, is making those thank you cards or writing a thank you letter. And if I can pull up our Google Classroom, um, I'll show you the post so you guys can, again, see it's going to be right on. Oh, I got to change my camera. Sorry. So you guys can see where you could share, um, where you could share um, a card or a letter. So again, if you guys want to send a card or a letter, we um, are sending them to the Albany Medical Center. Here's the address. It's posted in the Google Classroom. I posted it yesterday. Um, if you guys know someone else that you want to share it with, feel free. Um, you don't have to tell me if you're mailing anything. Um, we're also doing a video where we're going to take pictures of you guys, um, staff and students, or, or your parents, your families, that um, maybe have a little thank you, um, thanking hospital workers. And we're going to make a video that we're going to share on social media. So again, make sure it's okay for you guys to be on social media. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the article. I will be posting your worksheets for you to do along with the recipe, the joke page, and some other worksheets that you guys can do. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay home, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!